And welcome to part two of Mega Man X. Who are you? Call me Double the Rookie Hunter. My liege, the Repla Force has begun its coup. Wait, Double? You're jumping to conclusions here. Sir, you've been given the order to scramble. Right, I'm leaving right now. <laughs> You're jumping to conclusions while they're attacking. Oh fuck, well I better go then. <laughs> so here are the eight Mavericks that belong to the Repla Force, and they're all causing shit. And they actually explain what they're doing this time around. One's in, one's in a computer, he's fucking up everything, one's got a fleet of ships blowing the shit out of everything. He's, uh, these guys are assholes. I really wish they would get back to, like, naming them right there on the screen. Like, every time you get to a rep like a, a Maverick select screen, it's like you got their faces, but you don't know what they're, they're called until you pick on their name. Which is annoying. We're gonna go to the volcano and take on... Magma Dragoon. You remember him from part one. He was the guy who, uh, well, he betrayed the irregular hunters and hid himself inside a volcano. In Japan, the Maverick Hunters are known as irregular hunters, so this is actually a translation error. It should be Maverick Hunters, but, you know, regardless. Uh, most people would think that the volcano would be a very hard level to play, and that, what the hell are you doing playing this level first? Well, Dragoon actually is a very, uh, tough Maverick, but... There's a special tool that you can pick up right before you fight him that makes the fight a breeze to play, and so it makes this fight ideal for being a first, because uh, all the Mavericks are quite challenging, and uh, I just found the perfect layout so that I don't have to backtrack much, if ever, when I uh, do this certain level sequence. So we're going to start with Magma Dragoon. I'm going to say, like, dash jumping is going to be your best friend here, because there's a lot of cliffs and a lot of, like, rising and falling fireballs that come quickly. And if you take normal jumps, you'll have to wall jump a lot because you won't make the jump quite as much as you would want to. And, you know, dash jumping, as you'll see in this section right here, uh, just makes getting through so damn easily. I love dash jumping in this level. And I love the music in this place, too. It's so awesome. Heart tanks are back in this game. Of course, there's one in each level, and they increase your health bar forever. Uh, the one that's in Magma Dragoon is right on the top left there, and so I tried to get it with a lot of double dash jumps. It may not look like you can get it, but you can. Just you have to jump right at the right you have to jump right at the right moment, and you should be able to reach it and get it, like I did just there. You're gonna want all those heart upgrades because, as always, the final castle slash area slash whatever the hell it's supposed to be in this game, <laughs> it could be fairly difficult without it. And there's also Dr. Light capsules. One's in this level, actually, but uh, we'll have to backtrack to this place later, because I don't have the tools necessary to get the Dr. Light capsule. Which is a damn shame, but, you know. This right arm is awesome. It can walk around in lava. It has a big claw-type type attack that's great for destroying blocks. And we can fight the Maverick with it. What the fuck? That's a first, and I would recommend doing so, because Magma Dragoon is pretty goddamn hard. X, you've arrived. Dragoon, why did you betray the HQ? <laughs> you'll have to defeat me first. But we're allies. You're so naive. Listen closely. I let the Sky Lagoon fall, and I do it again. <laughs> no, those were innocent people. You're not Dragoon, just a maverick. You got that right. Power up, X. It's time you showed me what you can do. I'm getting too into this voice acting, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, Magma Dragoon, he apparently loves Street Fighter because he does the Hadouken and the Shoryuken, uh, just like X can do in the other games. And uh, they're, they're fairly damaging fireballs. Without the mecha armor, he is very, very hard to fight because it's hard to protect his attacks a lot. He does them in such a random order, and it's not just the fireballs he shoots. Sometimes he'll shoot a big wave of fire like he does right here. He'll drop out of the sky and try and crush you. This is actually the first time I ever beat him with the right armor still intact. Usually he destroys it and then I have to fight him on foot. But I got lucky in this run through, so yay me. You are strong, X. Such a waste. Why, Dragoon? Always wanted to fight you. Then he appeared and... He appeared? Who? Told me to work for Repliforce to goad you into fighting. You did it just so you could fight me. Was worth it. 
for a final duel. Dragoon! No! And we got Rising Fire from Magma Dragoon. <laughs> Cue that end. But anyway, uh, shoots fire energy vertically, uh, effective against all airborne enemies. But not really, because then you have to time your shots real well. And I don't know any airborne enemies who take the chance to fly above you well enough. But, you know, regardless. Uh, not all the Mavericks have this big monologue when they die, so don't worry. It was just Magma Dragoon because X and Zero actually know him from the Maverick Hunters. But nevertheless, this is Frost Walrus, who is... Oh, by the way, there's Blizzard Buffalo in the background there. You can actually see a lot of different Mavericks encased in ice in this level. I don't know all of them, I just know that Blizzard Buffalo, and there's one up... There's one coming that uh, I'll point out, but I don't know all of them. I think Volt Catfish is also here, but I could be mistaken. Heart Tank, you just missed it. I used the Fireball to destroy a block of ice at the top here, and the Heart Tank will fall, and boom. My health is a little bit bigger. Frost Walrus, uh, I don't know if you saw from the display picture. He reminds me way too much of Frost Man from Mega Man 8, and since I consider this a spiritual successor to Mega Man 8, it feels like Capcom got really lazy or something. <laughs> it's like they made Mega Man 8 first, and they were like, Frost Man, he's awesome! Has a fucked up voice, but he's awesome! Hey, uh, we need a Maverick for Mega Man X4. How about Frost Walrus? Okay, why not? How, how should he look? He should look like Frost Man, but with a walrus face. Genius! <laughs> Another paycheck for Capcom. Booyah! But I don't work at Capcom, so I could be mistaken. Uh, nevertheless, there's a lot of spikes, or icicles in this case, that uh, you don't want to run into, because, as always in the Mega Man universe, spikes are instant kill, and we want to dodge them as best as we can. These platforms, there is a bottomless pit at the bottom, so you do have to make sure you have something to land on when you drop, because, you know, dying is not a good thing. <laughs> there's Chill Penguin in that block of ice there, but now we have a Icicle mini boss. He is weak against uh, Magma Dragoon's fire weapon, and actually I should have brought it out because one thing I forgot to mention about the about X4 is the greatest thing. Every time you get to a new area, a new like place after a loading screen, all of your weapon energy and your health is refilled. So technically, I should have went all out and wasted all my fire on this guy, but uh, I chose to save it for later because I'm an idiot, I guess. He opens up rarely with his claw, and uh, he loves to make icicles fall after he like does a big ground pound attack. He can be fairly annoying, and when he reaches like half health, this is when he starts bouncing across the room in a big icicle ball form, which is a pain in the ass to fight. Hence why I brought out the fire, because I was pretty much relying on desperation. I was like, oh fuck, I'm going to die soon. But luckily, that wasn't the case. And like I mentioned, health refilled. I was at the verge of death, but going into the new area fixes that problem well. Uh, there's a hidden item in these icicles, and it's a weapon sub-tank. The weapon sub-tank, it allows you to refill your weapon energy whenever you want. Well, not whenever you want. It has to store up energy just like the normal sub-tanks do. But, uh, you know, it'll be good to have. Actually, it doesn't really matter to have in Mega Man X4 at all. There's going to be a certain Dr. Light upgrade that uh, pretty much eliminates weapon energy completely. I'll get to that when I get to it, but it makes the weapon sub-tank pretty goddamn useless, I must say. Oh, Metools, how I missed you so. I missed you in X2 and X3. Where the hell were you guys? Weapon sub-tank is right there. Shoot the upper block. Boom, I got it. So there it is, just for completion's sake. This hallway has a whole bunch of ice birds that love to freeze the whole area. You want to kill them as quickly as you can, otherwise they'll make everything icy, and then icicles will try and fall on you, and you'll be slipping and sliding all over the place, and uh, it's not very fun. The bed tools are fairly easy enemies to defeat. Mostly all they do is walk around. They don't even shoot pellets at you. But, you know, when you're in a hurry and you're dashing all over the place, you can run into them on accident a lot. And there's the ice. Always not fun. Watch out for icicles. But I'll see you in part three, folks. <laughs>